Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Saturday, October 21st, 2023. And this is a video of a Subaru Sandbar for Greg in Pennsylvania. Greg is a long distance customer and um, with our long distance customers, we're very careful about uh, our communication to be extra, um, extra effective in our communicating the condition of the vehicle. And that's pretty much the um, <clears throat> the uh, the biggest um, the biggest objective is to as accurately portray the vehicle in as much as that is possible without him actually being here himself. Uh, we've had just a, a flotilla, a raft load of people coming in and out today. They all know exactly what they see because they get to see it, touch it, feel it, drive it. But with uh, our long distance customers, they're, they just live too far away. But we've done thousands of sales long distance. I just got back this week from Tennessee yesterday, um, Elk Park, North Carolina, Chicago, Illinois, Wednesday, and then Western Illinois on Wednesday. And then I was in... Um, um, Hartford, Connecticut on Monday and, uh, Northern Virginia, uh, where they gave me that sausage. It was oh, so good, uh, on Monday. And then, uh, so we, all of those, all of them are long distance customers, except one of the people, one of them drove over here. And, um, so that's kind of the ratio one to five. Five long distance, one local. And uh, that's kind of, that's the 20%. I say 80% of our people are long distance. There you go. And uh, so um, we, um, we, uh, we have to be very, very intentional about communicating the actual condition of the vehicle. And we're so confident in our approach that... <clears throat> You don't pay for the vehicle until we show up with it and we deliver what we sell. I, I personally deliver the vehicle. And uh, so uh, that way I get to say thank you for your business. But also I get to, we do a test drive. I show you how to check the oil, how to check the air filter, how to change the air filter, um, how to put it in and out of four-wheel drive, what to do, what not to do. And... Um, and it's just so important for me to do that and, and to thank you for your business. And, of course, we do the paperwork and you pay for it, right? Um, but that's our, that's our model. That's our business model. Nobody else is crazy enough to say, nah, don't pay for it until we get there. <laughs> and we have a 100% track record. 100% track record. Nobody has ever seen the vehicle when we pull up with it and say, oh, that's not what we expected, right? That's never happened. And uh, it's because of the communication. So the first, the first communication is when it comes off the boat, I do a video. Say, hey, here's seven trucks or here's 12 trucks. I'm going to try not to do 12 truck videos. That's too long. That, I ask people, how can I do better? And they say, your videos are too long. So... You know, I'm still going to spend the time that I spend on each truck. I'm just going to try to do, you know, like uh, six at a time or something. All right. This is why my videos are so lengthy. But um, I, uh, <clears throat> so you put down a deposit equal to the delivery charge. That is so that, you know, we know that our effort to bring it to you will be paid for but you don't pay for the vehicle until we arrive. You can pay with a cashier's check or an official check, money order, something like that, uh, and and or cash. Cash is okay also. And uh, <clears throat> there is no discount for cash. I get that question a lot. We pay all of our taxes. And uh, I, I, I look forward to getting a Christmas card this year from either the president or the vice president of the United States of America, because we do, although I was born in Canada, I'm actually a Canuck, but I pay all my taxes, both federal and state. So there is no discount uh, because whether you pay cash or money order, um, it doesn't, 
save us any money. And uh, so uh, we also give you a title. We got the law passed, making mini trucks street legal. Signed into law by Governor Cooper, Sarah Stevens and Deanna Ballard, our North Carolina House and North Carolina Senate representative, were instrumental in, um, in, in doing that. So thank you, uh, Senator Deanna Ballard, and thank you, House Representative Sarah Stevens and Governor Cooper. Thank you. So um, there's no extra charge. We give you the title. It's included. We use full synthetic engine oil. We change the oil, change the air filter, the oil filter. All of that is included. There's no extra fees. There's no dock fee, no prep fee, no this fee, no that fee. We're kind of proud of that too. Uh, we try to run the business well. We try to run the business like a tight ship. And uh, I only get really nice stuff. People say, how do you get vehicles so nice? Well, it's because we've been doing it for f almost 14 years, 13 years. And um, I only pick the low-hanging fruit. So, uh, you know, only the most beautiful stuff. And I don't know how my prices compare to other people because I never look at my competition ever, right? Uh, I'm friends with my biggest competition. Uh, he's a good guy. Uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, um, but I don't ever go and look and see what my competition is priced at. I simply buy the best stuff and I price it earning a fair profit. So please subscribe to our video, our YouTube channel. Uh, it helps us with our search analytics and then hit notification. And, uh, I don't know why, but hit thumbs up. I'm not sure what good that does, but if you don't mind hitting thumbs up, ostensibly it's a good idea and uh and then you'll be notified when i post a video and you can see like i'm about to video seven trucks right uh and uh so i'm gonna do a video of seven trucks well if you hit notification you'll be notified when those seven trucks uh, go up and get posted so all right enough hot air this is a uh Nineteen ninety five Subaru Sambar four wheel drive five speed with extra low oh wait till you hear the mileage. <laughs> this is a low hanging fruit I was talking about. Five speed with extra low first gear. The mileage is twenty one thousand one hundred and ninety six miles. So I really like it when I get stuff like this. And um <clears throat> I uh That's actually a scratch. I, uh, okay. Now, first thing we'll do is we'll look at, that's dirt. We'll look at the perimeter of the windshield to see how it looks. Where's Jesse, my 26-year-old? He's becoming a police officer. Um, he actually got his job. He got accepted. And uh, so the front of this vehicle is ding-free. And the headlight has a brilliant luster in the headlight uh, cover. It's, the front is absolutely stunning. It does have those two scratches that I pointed at earlier. The rest of the door looks beautiful. A little bit of surface rust right there. A ding there, there, not ding, uh, surface rust. The bedside is perfect. These are nice looking tires. Looks like they just replaced them. Huh. Huh. DOT rated. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> I put that on. That's, a, that's my tire. I see metric. I didn't know my tire had metric. So I put brand new tires on here because the old ones were in bad shape. This is an eight-ply tire. Boy, do I sound clueless. Man, oh, man. If I was watching this video, I'd be like, this guy, what the heck is wrong with him? 
He doesn't even know he put that tire on that truck. All right. I see uh, a scratch there and a little surface rust there. I want to look underneath and see what's going on there. So you can see it does have a little something going on. Let's see what. Okay, so just a little bit of a bubble there. That's it. Everything else. Everything else looks good. The bed is absolutely remarkable. That's just the caulking that, that they put on. Boy, is that incredible. Just look at that. The whole bed, it's a four washer truck. So <clears throat> there is a correlation between the condition of these Subaru engine cover washers and the condition of the truck. When the washers are not chipped, the truck is going to be nice. Tell people to put uh, a three quarter inch or five eighths inch hose on here so that you don't hear that rattling. You know, you could probably do that. Boy, that plastic is nice. The engine cover is stunning. The tailgate, man, is that nice. It has one ding, tiny ding, tiny, tiny ding. Bet you can't even see it. Bedside panel is beautiful. Oh, this is the one I remember. It has a dent on the inside, so it got dented out. And, uh... Yeah, you can see where they touched it up. Knocked. <clears throat> the back of the cab looks good. Got a little dent right there on the rib. A ding right there. Pretty nice. Now... We're going to look for any damage here. Boy, is that straight as a pin, guys. Not a ding or a dent. The battery cover is now on. I like it. When a car, a, a mini truck has a battery cover. Boy, those are nice tires. Eight ply tires, guys. Those are better than what you typically get. But, you know, yes, we pay more for eight-ply tires, but it is superior. And that's just so like us. We use synthetic oil, right? Who, in their right mind, when trying to be profitable, would buy synthetic oil? And we've been doing it for, oh, 13 years. We've been buying synthetic oil. I buy it by the drum, the 55-gallon drum. Right now, in the back of a truck, I have eight drums, and I have another eight drums in the barn. So I've got like 16 55-gallon drums of full synthetic oil. Crazy. That's just done over there. Nice mats. So this does not have a key. It's because there's a release handle right there. That's how you open that. Man, is that nice. That is so, so, so pretty. I met the nicest people this week. I mean, so many nice people. But this one 82-year-old woman... She was a computer programmer, a software engineer or something like that. And uh, and her husband was a banker. And they live um, like near Elk Park. And they've lived there for a long time. And they had a Subaru and their grandson rolled it. And they bought another Subaru, a nice one. But they were just such nice people. We sat for like a, oh, I don't know. Maybe they're watching this video. Probably an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Just telling stories. 
and hanging out. And they had a library to die for. I mean, such an extensive library. And um, so I really enjoy that part of the business, meeting people. And everybody's different. But if you take the time, everybody, I mean everybody, has an interesting story to tell. Oh, one more, one more. Guys, I'm sorry. This is why my videos are so long. Another guy calls me. Are you ready? Listen, this is worth it. Hang with me here. Homeless. He's homeless. He sleeps on the side of the road. But he's starting a business. He's in the process of becoming unhomeless. And a mini truck is, gonna, is how he's going to do it. And uh, it's just, what a privilege. I mean that. What a privilege. All right. Oh, the inside of the truck. It's perfect. I mean. So nice. Anyway, all right. Boy, do I ramble. All right, so we're going to test your <clears throat> But yeah, the guy's homeless, and he's becoming unhomeless, and he's starting a business uh, doing community gardens. He wants to start community gardens, or he does. He's starting community gardens, and that's how he's earning income. And, um, I mean, man, I cannot hold a candle to that guy. Talk about getting my respect. All right, so we're driving this to see how it does when it reaches normal speed or higher speed, like 60 miles per hour. So that's 60 miles an hour, and it feels just fantastic. No nothing, no shaking, no pulling, no anything. Just nice, nice, nice. So this is a beautiful, beautiful truck. It runs, uh, it's empty. It needs gas. I hope I don't run out of fuel. They come from Japan. The people who work at the port siphon the gas out of them. That's the ugly truth. You never hear me say that until today. Uh, so we will put gas in this. Um, just letting you know, Greg. It won't be pinned on you when you get it. If you end up buying it. Alright, so now we're going up a steep hill. To see how it does. Now we're going to go in fifth gear. And uh, fifth gear is a good gear to really run it through the ringer. So this is the steep part of the hill. Uh, it gets worse. So now we have to slow way down for this turn. So now we're going like 23 miles per hour, okay? And we're still in fifth gear. But what are we going to do? Look at that. We're accelerating. So that is remarkable. And everybody everybody thinks, oh, Subaru's a four-cylinder. It's got more power. No, it doesn't. So dispel that internet myth. And here's the proof, right? Don't listen to what I say. Look at the proof. This is accelerating up the hill. But it's not like it's not like a five liter Mustang. It's accelerating, which is good. That's what you want to see, and that means a lot. That means this has good compression. It has excellent compression, and so that is a successful test drive because we were in fifth gear, guys. Fifth gear going. What did I say? Twenty five miles an hour in fifth gear going up a steep hill. And accelerating. That's all you need to know right there. It's a beautiful truck. I want to show you the driver's seat because I got on 
to talking about that homeless man. It's got a crack here on the side. Uh, does not have cracks anywhere else, um, but it's nice. Got a drink holder. Um, beautiful, beautiful, nice floor mats. And um, so, yeah, super, super, super nice Subaru Sambar. And um, wow, even the door pocket. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's our video. I don't think I really have anything else to tell you because I covered most of that in the beginning of my video. And um, uh, if you have any questions or would like to reach us, you can call us at 336-777-9957. And also, you can email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com or you can check out our website at mayberryminitrucks.com. And, and uh, also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.